vlog it is thursday the 28th i'm fucking ready for this week to be over uh i had a doctor's appointment yesterday so i have the day off which means that i'm going to come back to hell as soon as i log into my computer and i already know that i already know uh, so um that's that's gonna be great i i just it's gonna be a time um i you guys are here because i did not do any of the chores that i needed to do yesterday I basically just like played The Sims and then uh, logged off and my parents took me to dinner. And that's what I did yesterday, uh, which is literally not at all what I was supposed to have done yesterday, but here we are. So, uh, that means there's lots of chores and stuff that I didn't do yesterday that I needed to. But again, it's fine. I don't know what else. Oh, I uh, started Maeve Fly by CJ Weed. It's weird and kind of gross, which like in an enjoyable way for me, I don't know how to explain that without sounding like a weirdo. Um, I don't have any more information for you at this current time. Um, that's just how I currently feel about it. It's interesting and I'm probably gonna finish it today. Um, and that's a shame because I have like another full day where I could listen to an audiobook and I don't know what to listen to. So I may just pull a book out of the hat um, a book out of my list of books because I have that list of a hundred books that I wanted to knock out from my many many TBRs. Um, basically, I don't know if I like really explained what that means, but I have like I have TBRs on Goodreads and Libby and Scribd and or Everand, whatever you want to call it now, and um, all of these places. And I don't, I, I didn't have like a way to keep track of all of them. Mostly I was focusing on the one on Libby, but then as I was like going through Goodreads, I was like, oh, good grief, I have a bunch in here um, that aren't in Libby. So I am just kind of like putting all those together now and making sure that they're um, all in the list where I can keep track of them and know what's going on, basically. But yeah, so that's how like if I'm like, oh, I've run out of books, what do I listen to now? Although Art has a book that she really wanted me to listen to, so I may do that. It depends on how long it is, I need to see. Because otherwise right now I'm just reading Mayfly, and I'm 100% gonna finish it. Because on two times speed, I've only got three hours left on it, so like, I'm definitely gonna finish that today, um, assuming that I don't get pulled into a thousand meetings, but I shouldn't. I don't think the chances of that go up until next week, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's it now officially. I think that's all. Um, I'm going to edit my wrap up today. I'm going to edit last week's vlog. I'm going to try and get both of those things uploaded. I need to run to the library today or tomorrow and return books. I need to probably get gas. Well, no, I definitely need to get gas. I had exactly enough gas to get me home yesterday, which was like kind of satisfying, not going. Um, okay, that's done. I'm going to go. I'm too old for this. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday the 29th and I'm so fucking glad it's the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a week, y'all. Not like bad. It's just the weather's been crazy. Uh, it's just, it's been a week. It's been a week. I have officially started uh, Together We Rot because I, I ran out of, like I, I, it's so close to the end of the month and I've still, I've been finishing all my books, which is like a problem. <laughs> shouldn't be a problem but it's a problem so I have about six hours on one time speed left a little less than that five hours and 33 minutes so on three times speed it'll be down to two hours on that so there's still a chance that I might find some, need to find something else to tide me over uh which is fine I have a plan for that so uh what else <sighs> oh I'm getting my tax return back and it is enough to give me a cushion for rent and pay any of the bills I'm overdue on. That's really exciting for me personally. Um, could I use any of that for fun? I wish, but no. 
Uh, I, I get to buy groceries, maybe. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. I'm glad about that. Uh, it means a little bit of less stress. I might have like three months of less stress and my husband might be home by then. He might get his 80-20 and then he might be home and then he can get a job. Uh, and I can stress out a little less. I managed to get uh, my wrap up uploaded and edited and uploaded yesterday and last week's vlog edited and uploaded, which is cool cause I needed to. <laughs> if I have time today between work stuff, I think I need to um, do some clear ship planning. Uh, I have posts one and two, or per, like the plot line one and two done. Um, so I need to do three and four, uh, and then I need to start figuring out prompts with art. And I never did go over the Clear Your Shit website, like update it. Um, that's another thing my tax money is going to go to is the fucking website. <laughs> um, but I need to sort that out as well, like kind of do an overhaul. I might take it down for maintenance and then go from there. Um, but yeah, that's it. Not too crazy of a of a day planned here <laughs> at the mouse house i wish that i had something to film because <laughs> my makeup looks good and anytime i make hair and makeup look good i'm like damn i wish i needed to film something instead of just like looking cute anyway if i get anything fun quote unquote fun with my tax return money i <laughs> i think i'm probably gonna get an attachment for grooming Cotter that like holds her up so that she's standing instead of because she lays down and it makes it really hard to get to her feet and stuff um so I might and that's like 30 bucks <laughs> fun and that's really just to like continue to save the money that it costs to get her groomed anyway yeah I need to return books to the library also probably sometime today uh, if not today, then tomorrow afternoon, because my morning, my visits start being in the morning starting tomorrow. So that's cool that that's so I'm very excited about that because prior to that, my visits with my husband were from two to four, which means that like I have to leave my house at 12, which means that like I'll wake up at like eight, nine a.m. And if I have to go get quarters, then I need to go at 10 and then I'm back by 11. And then I'm just like scrambling around the house to finish getting ready. Um, and then I am have to leave and then I don't get home until like six, 6.30, make dinner, whatever. And then my night's kind of over. So it was literally taking up my entire fucking day. So now if uh, visits being in the morning, I'm gonna get up pretty early at 5.30 in the morning, which is only 30 minutes earlier than I get up during the week. So it means that I'll only sleep in on Sundays, but that's fine. Um, and I will be home by lunchtime. So I'll have like 10 hours of uninterrupted, do whatever I need to do time. Um, so that'll be nice. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go. I just thought I'd do a quick update. I hope you guys are having a great day. I will talk to you later. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello, good morning. I finally found AAA batteries. I knew I had some. Um, I wanna put them in my children's timer that I use for activities. <laughs> because it helps me stay on task if I have something like this. So here we are. Um, I huh. there we go. I had a good weekend. Visitation with my husband went great. I uh, went with his mom. We finally have morning visits, which is a great time for me personally, um, because it means that by the end of the day or by the end of the visit, by the time I'm home, I am not like, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not like, how do I word it? I have time at the end of the day. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm struggling with that, but I have time at the end of the day. So that's handy dandy. I got everything I needed filmed, edited, and uploaded for April. So that's always nice. Um, Marissa will be here this upcoming weekend, so not this vlog, but next week's vlog. And I need to schedule the clear your shit schedule, uh, schedule the clear your shit schedule drop. That will be coming this month because it's Arts Birth Month uh, in April. That's 
when we generally drop the schedule. So I need to schedule the prompt drop on buffer so the post post and then I also need to go ahead and just release the sorry schedule the schedule drop and then go ahead and release the um, schedule on Patreon so that they have it early because I want to be really good about them getting things early. I still need to do the website so to not do that um, and I but I think I'm gonna probably try and manage to do some of that this week. <sighs> we'll see though. I also need to finish the first Nice Dragons finish the, the first book in the um, Heart Striker series. Haven't had a chance to do that but I want to. Okay. Um, sorry I'm trying to fill this out so that I can categorize it. My habit tracker. Sorry I realize you guys can't see what I'm doing. Um, I keep habit trackers on a board like this little note card. I don't know if that's like if you can see that well. Um, and then I'm putting them in my little note card filing cabinet. When I'm done with it, what am I going to do with this information? I don't know, but it seems like information I should be holding on to. You know? Like that. And then I already have April set up. So good for me. I guess I picked purple for the color for that. Mm. Do the squirrelies remember in school when you just suddenly decide to change your handwriting and so you would just like practice changing your handwriting because I'm thinking about doing that and it's so like reminisce of being a teenage girly if that makes sense. Um, it's just so reminisce of that. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I don't think I have a whole lot left to discuss. I just um, thought I would come in and update real quick. Uh, so I think I'm going to go so that I can continue to listen to Nice Dragons Finish Last. I also want to get 25% into The Fourth Closet, which is going to be the third and last book in the Five Nights at Freddy's series that I'm reading. Um, so I think I'm going to do that um, and then call it a day. My camera battery is probably going to die any minute now, though. so. I'm going to go, but I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Good morning. What was that sound? I don't know. I don't even know if the camera got it. Hi. Um, it is Tuesday the 2nd. Um, I'm fucking tired. Um, I didn't journal, apparently. need to do that. <sighs> I have had a migraine for like three days now, so it's great. Started Sunday night, had it yesterday, it kind of kicked up yesterday, and then I woke up and I still had it, but I took meds this morning and I'm hoping that that helps. Part of it is like my tooth hurts, so like that's part of the problem, but yeah, not fun, not a fun time. I did finish March's book blanket uh, entry, that's not correct, set up rather. Um. So we got March, January, February, March. Beautiful, right? Yay. Uh, Art just dead named me. That's not true. I want to be very clear that Art did not just dead name me. Art used my real name, which is Andrea, which I don't use. Not because I dislike it. My family calls me it all the time. I don't mind the name Andrea. It's just everyone says it incorrectly. Uh, they give me the uh, Hispanic pronunciation, which is fine. It is a Spanish name. <laughs> um, but they they give the Spanish pronunciation, which is Andrea or Andrea uh, or Andrea, all of which are not how you say my name. It's Andrea. Look at me. Look at me. Um, and it doesn't help that once I got married, I had an Italian ish, Spanish ish last name now. And so that doesn't help either. Anyway, but she <laughs> just said SMH Andrea and it was like jarring. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I finished surprise of all surprise. I actually did finish uh, Nice Dragons finished last yesterday. It is a very long audiobook. It's a 13 hour audiobook. And then the next book is a uh, 18 hour audiobook because of course it is but I went ahead and continued listening to it um, so 
I'm a little over 50% into it um, because I was like listening to it and reading it at the same time. So that means I have about two hours of it left uh, now, which is great on three times speed. And then I actually ended up reading, continuing to read The Fourth Closet and got 50% into that, even though I was only supposed to do 25%. Um, so that's a, all of this is good because I was not sure if I was going to be able to get all of my reading done this month um, because of the addition of the, the readathon books. So for Sapphic Spring, yeah, I was supposed to return library books yesterday also, but I just, my head just hurt way too bad for me to go do that. Um, the sucky thing was yesterday, if you recall, my hair was like also pretty intricately done. Um, and so by the time I like sat down on the couch, a problem with my migraines is that sometimes I lose some of my motor function, especially my fingers. Um, and that's only if it's like, I get super brain fog when I have a migraine. Um, my words, I slur, it sounds like I'm drunk. It feels like the worst kind of being drunk, um, but other people probably would assume that I'm drunk if they did not know I was in a lot of pain. Um, and so I was like trying to get these hair ties out of my hair, especially they're the rubber hair ties without like yanking out my hair. And Cotter was like pulling at me because she does this thing when she wants attention where she will pull my arm when she be like no pet me no pet me but pet me uh she's always done that and so I'm just like trying to do all of this and also trying not to cry because crying will inherently make my head hurt worse and essentially give me a headache on top of my migraine uh so it was a it was definitely a time I, and I'm definitely putting myself at risk by doing yet another silly intricate hairstyle but these are so fun like I'm having so much fun doing this with my hair right now so here we are yeah, so there's like individual twisties. There's um, six of them for two for each little baby bun. Um, it's not as defined as I would have liked, but I also wasn't going to use gel. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to update my journal. Oh, also, I was about to go, but then I remembered. I'm making something. Mom, if you're watching this, don't. Just kidding. By the time this comes out, I may or may not have finished this. I'm making my mom a blanket. She doesn't love yarn, but this yarn, by the time I wash it, will be super, super soft. It's the Red Heart Super Saver, which my book blanket is made out of. So if I just wash this a few times, it'll be incredibly soft. Um, but yeah, I'm crocheting this. It is taking me a hundred years. Uh, it's finally lap sized. I'm trying to do five or six rows a day, but it's killing my wrist a little bit. But five or six rows does end up being about this much a day. Uh, I think I'm just going to make it like a lap blanket. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do like, you know, a full body blanket. It is also like not super wide or anything. Like it is very much a lap blanket. So I don't know. Um, I think I will just let it get at least to my feet before I make that decision. Um, I know my mom likes to like pull things up to her chest to cover up. So we'll see. And then I think I'm going to do another blanket after this. My friends are all making little critters and stuff and I'm jealous, but I don't really want to do critters. Um, and I have a lot of scrap yarn that I'm trying to get through this year without buying yarn. I've successfully not bought yarn since I bought yarn for Ozzy's, um, Coraline doll. So that's good, but I'm trying really hard not to buy yarn unless I need it for the book blanket, which I, after having bought the original pack of yarn for the book blanket, still haven't had to buy any, which is incredible because I'm like four months in, haven't had to buy any yarn versus like this shit. I was buying yarn every month. <sighs> yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, 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 the difference, the stark difference. But I'm not mad about it. Anyway, uh, I think the other blanket I'm gonna do is this like, it's like the mandala blanket that I made a while back, but it's like multiple panels of mandalas. And I'm gonna do that with a bunch of different scrap yarn that follows a okay color pattern, color scheme, color palette. Um, I think that's my plan. Anyway, I'm gonna go, gotta update my journal, do all of that. Um, so I will talk to you guys later, but I hope that you guys are having a great day. And hopefully my migraine goes away and I can go see my nieces tonight. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye.
Uh, good morning. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> it's Wednesday the 3rd. Uh, I'm fixating on a new thing. <laughs> so, uh, there is a method of note taking that's called the Zettelkatzen method. I have probably just butchered that because I am not German. Um, so I'm sorry to anyone. Um, I've even heard people say it and I still think I'm butchering it. Anyway, uh, it is basically, how do I explain it? They use an index card filing system and they take notes of everything. Um, and the notes can be kind of broken down into three kinds, like thoughts, like your basic, like thoughts about something that you've been reading, literature notes, uh, reference notes, which are like direct references to things. And then kind of like notes that aren't connected to anything. So just like information. Um, and these notes can be connected to other things. They usually use some kind of numbering system. Um, I think I'm going to use the Dewey Decimal System and then maybe if I have it, a date, which obviously not all of these are going to have dates because I've already done some index cards, um, but a lot of them because I have this information in my um, field notes, I can probably go back and find the dates on them, but I went ahead and printed out the Dewey Decimal System so that I can start using that as part of my like labels. Um, because I think that that, because it's a system that already exists, I don't have to think too hard about it. Um, and I think, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I was fixating on it yesterday. I definitely wrote like several pages of notes about it in my field notes. Um, I'm probably going to continue to write several, uh, pages of notes about it, um, and finish out this field note, which will be cool because, um, one, I think I've officially been doing this field notes for a year. Um because I was on my second one, I think, by the time my birthday rolled around. So this is my third or fourth one. This one has not taken, this one has taken me a lot longer to fill out because I kind of fell off of doing it. But I think this new Zettelkatze method has me a little bit more interested. So like this would be kind of like my inbox. It's also very much an extension of commonplacing, which um, people use the kettle Zettelkatze method as an extension of common placing. Um, a lot of people do it digitally. You would think that I would do it digitally since I work in tech, but um, no, I hate, I hate digital note taking. I hate it. Um, it's good for my job. I would do that for work. I would not do it for anything else in my life. So, so yeah, I think this would be like inbox and then from there, put information in index cards. The thing is that I was not going to do book quotes, um, but I think I might still do book quotes, but that would be a lot of data to transfer from other field notes. And I just, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. So, um, that's it though. I'm gonna work on that a little bit this morning. I got ready and stuff early. Um, I think that the big thing is that I need to sharpen my scissors because I'm going to go cut my niece's hair tonight. The thing I need to write down. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Um, I am going to go. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go so that I can work on this and be a weirdo about it. Um, I literally was tweeting on my private account last night that I was sorry to the people who watch my YouTube because I'm probably going to heavily fixate on this. Um, and yeah, I, I'm going to fixate heavily on this. So I didn't even talk about books. Fuck, I was going to go. Um, I am going to finish The Fourth Closet today more than likely and then I'm going to finish No Good Dragon Goes Unpunished today. I have about three hours left of No Good Dragon Goes Unpunished. So that's... Yeah, that's it. Don't don't worry about the don't worry about the rest. I marked something off I shouldn't have. It's fine. Um I'm gonna go. So that I can do that though. Mm. Okay, bye. Hello, good morning. Focus on me. Hello, camera. Thank you. Hi, good morning. It's Thursday the fourth. Um I am going to close the vlog out here.
here. I did get all the reading that I wanted done yesterday, and I managed to hyperfocus on the thing I wanted to hyperfocus on. So, you know, really worked out yesterday. Uh, and I gave my nieces their first, like, real short haircuts, and it looked super cute. Very proud of myself for managing that. Uh, so overall, it was, a, it was a really solid day. Um, but I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Uh, I will talk to you later. Okay, thanks, bye.